Hello, Inoue Satsasan, Mr. Satsanoue. My name is Darren McKissick. I am an 18-year-old black male living in Atlanta, Georgia. I would like to say to you that you are a very great person. You are one of my absolute favorite mangaka. You have shown, you've shown me that hip-hop and black style culture can be shown in more positive and creative ways than just the hip-hop and the videos and all of that. Yeah, I really want to read the Tokyo Tribe 3 manga, but unfortunately, I don't know enough Japanese yet that I don't have a credit card to order the four volumes. You know, you've seen the black movie, Oh black folks. Um, I would really like to more know about, huh, well, I would really like to know more about you, how you discovered hip-hop and R&B, and why you love the African-American style of things so much. It's, it's really inspiring. Um, I myself am aiming to be a manga artist, mangaka, comic book artist, cartoon artist, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, and I just recently graduated high school, and so now I'm, you know, looking for work out there. Cause, yeah, I love comics, manga, and you recently inspired me back on the hip hop stuff. Um, so yeah, like I just really want to know, cause like you, you're so cool, cause you got your own clothing line, you have lots of mangas, lots of mangas, and then the fact that you were able to draw hip-hop style stuff in a manga fashion is just really, really cool. Yeah, I just, uh, I want to meet you, it's like so, because you're so cool, man, you were born in France, and you moved to Japan, uh, and your, your art, I really love your art style, it's your art is just like extremely amazing, because like, your art, even your finished works after you after you do your name, your um, storyboard, it's like even on the final manuscript, your art is like sketchy, but at the same time it uses thick, full lines. Oh yeah, by the way, of your manga that I've read, I've read Tokyo Tribe 2, which was published in America as Tokyo Tribes. I've read Mon Mon, Born to Die. And, oh yeah, and the first Tokyo Tribe, the one that didn't have an anime. But I really want to read Tokyo Tribe 3. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, when is the anime for that coming out? Because I know you're still working on the manga. It's in Ollie, right? Yeah. Because, uh, like, as a matter of fact, um, both, okay, my mom, she's a singer. I'll put a link up to her website. My brother raps. I'll put a link up to his website. And my sister is an actor, and she was actually just in Kenny Leon's The Start of Dreams documentary, which was about, like, a documentary about the playwright August Wilson and actor. So my whole family is, like, creative. And we, we all love music, and I particularly love music and drawing. And believe it or not, this might sound weird, although I am a black guy living in the Georgia, in the South, in America, you inspired me to draw black people because if you look at anime, the majority of the anime characters look Asian or white. I mean, I, I mean, like I've just now recently started seeing black characters in anime, like Killer B and Raikage and Naruto. And then you got what's that? What was that dude's name? The blind dude from Bleach, Tosin. You know that? Yeah. So yeah, and yeah. Like I gotta, I actually have a. Thanks to you, I was inspired to create a hip hop manga. <laughs> I might post that up later. But um yeah, Mr. Sansa Inoue, Inoue Sansa San, you were just really cool and I really just wanna know more about you, like when you started drawing, when was the first when did you first you know, first start getting into the hip hop, the rap, the R and B and all that. And like who were some of your favorite artists and all that? Oh yeah, um back in the nineties, did you ever used to listen to the group called Escape? My mother, Vicky McKissick, actually taught Natasha and Tamika Scott how to sing when they were little. That's like no lie. I'm serious. No lie. Um, uh, what's it called? Oh, yeah. I saw you interview Bobby Brown. My brother, the dentist, he also, he also met Bobby Brown and, and Whitney and went down to his man, what was that mansion one time. Like, it was like, 04, 05, something like that. Um, oh, yeah, but, you know, 
Yeah, I just, I really just want to know about you, Mr. Sassy Mule, see all your old mangas and all that. And I wish a lot more of your mangas were available in America, because the one company that published Tokyo Tribe 2, they just went out of business in America. Tokyo Pop, they're in business in the rest of the world, just not in America. I don't know why. But um, I really want to read Tokyo Tribe 3. And is he going to get an anime? Oh, yeah, and Dan the Barbarian is really cool, too. But, yeah, I just want to know more about you, because you, you're really, really cool. Because, like, you, you manage your your clothing line. Then you have your mangas that you draw in every month. Wait, you're doing two mangas? Dan the Barbarian and Tokyo Tribe? So it's two mangas every month? Two monthly? So that's, like, what, 60 pages a month? Oh, that's a lot. I commend you for that. Even though you have assistance, I still commend you for that, because... You still, you still have to plan everything, like the story and all that. You know, because your art is beautiful. Especially, I really like the covers for Tokyo Tribe 3, Volume 1, and Tokyo Tribe 3, Volume 3. The one where you had the dudes, like, sitting on the pole, on the rail or whatever with the baseball bat. Yeah, it reminded me, me of some dudes from my neighborhood in College Park. Um, but yeah, I just really hope one day I'm able to meet you and draw, show you my mangas and stuff, and just interview you, cause you and experience your creative genius in person, because you're really, really cool, because you know, you got flavors like Sword of No Fanta at the Tokyo Tribe 2 thing song says, but yeah, so yeah, I just hope, really hope you see this, and please hit me back, you know what I mean, alright, sayonara, no, 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 not Sayonara, Johnny.